In this video, you will be provided with an introduction to the MainView Auto Operator Mainframe Automation Solution, including an overview of Auto Operator concepts, functions, and components. Mainframe computer operators have many responsibilities that must be handled continuously throughout each workday. They must review and respond to messages from various system consoles, answer phone calls, and perform tasks that need to happen based on a particular time of day. These operational responsibilities and tasks are carried out repeatedly each day in accordance with corporate and data center policies. For each of these events, such as system messages, phone calls, and time-based requirements, Operators must decide to ignore the message or event if it is of low importance or does not require any response, tell somebody about it, such as a systems programmer, someone in the help desk area, etc., or respond to the message or event by replying to a message, entering a command, etc. Main view auto operator provides functionality which allows users to automate and standardize responses to repetitive mainframe messages and events. When system events and messages are managed by Auto Operator, the instance of human errors can be greatly reduced or totally eliminated. Auto Operator provides the capability to suppress low importance system messages, eliminating unnecessary messages from your system consoles resulting in improved visibility for higher importance messages and events. Users can also benefit from utilizing MainView Auto Operator to automate their mainframe IPL processes and shorten the time it takes to complete a system IPL. Auto Operator can also be used to provide an automated resolution to a system problem or error. MainView Auto Operator helps operators through error minimization, improved productivity, and problem determination, prevention, and resolution. The base functions which are included with MainView Auto Operator include the Rules Processor, which provides an online panel-driven process for the users to define rules, which can then be used to trap and take action on system messages and events and time-initiated tasks. The Alerts application provides a mechanism to identify an event that is occurring within your system, such as a started task ab ending or your system dump data sets reaching 99% full. Alerts can be created by the various main view monitors to indicate or notify that a situation is occurring on one of your systems that requires attention. The Exec Manager within Auto Operator allows users to execute Rex Execs as a response to a system event, message, or situation. The Automation Reporter function monitors and displays information about the activities and performance of MainView Auto Operator. The Open Systems Procedural Interface, or OSPI function, allows users to create an interface between Auto Operator and any VTAM-based application. The Dynamic Parameter Manager function of Auto Operator manages the parameters which control Auto Operator and allows users to make dynamic changes through online panels to the Auto Operator parameters such as those which are stored in the MainView UBB PARM file. The AO Anywhere function allows users to access and interact with Auto Operator from outside of the Auto Operator product address space. For example, a user might have a need for a batch job to perform some type of automation such as creating a WTO or write to operator message or issuing a system command from the batch job. MainView Auto Operator provides several different technology-based solutions 
dependent upon the subsystems and or environments that the user needs to automate. These solutions are Auto Operator for ZOS, which is used for automating the ZOS environment. This solution is also used for automation of the ZOS DB2 environment. Auto Operator for CICS is used to automate and respond to CICS situations, messages, and events. Auto Operator for MQ is used for automation in the ZOS MQ series environment, and Auto Operator for IMS is used to automate and respond to IMS, DBDC, and DB control events, messages, and situations. Each of these auto operation solutions consists of an event collector, which is a method for listening to the messages, events, and situations that are occurring in the particular environment, the commands processor, which allows auto operator to respond to system events, messages, and situations in the form of a rule or an exec or a command. Additionally, auto operator control displays or OCDs are included in each auto operator solution, which provide online panels and a simplified method for users to create rules and specify the automation actions which need to be taken in response to a system message event or problem. The OCDs eliminate the need for creating complex programs or typing long commands to respond to a system event. The auto operator for ZOS solution handles auto op automation for the mainframe ZOS environment. The BMC internal product code abbreviation for this solution is MAO, and you may see this code from time to time in various messages produced by auto operator or within the online panels. Auto operator for ZOS traps WTO and WTOR messages and those messages can then subsequently be suppressed or reworded or rerouted to a different console. If a user enters a system command, that command can also automatically be changed or rejected. Auto operator for ZOS can also issue ZOS commands from your auto operator terminal session or by creating a rule to issue a command or from a Rex exec. If your site is licensed for the MainView Sysprog Services product, Auto Operator is also integrated with this MainView product. When Auto Operator is used in conjunction with Sysprog Services, you can perform functions such as obtaining information on the devices that are allocated to your system and perform commands or actions upon those devices. The Total Object Manager component, or TOM, is also included with Auto Operator for ZOS. TOM provides a basic infrastructure that manages a variety of objects in a ZOS Sysplex environment. TOM operates in its own product address space, or PaaS, on each LPAR, and is associated with a single MainView Auto Operator PaaS on each LPAR. TOM allows users to automatically manage the availability, startup, and shutdown of started task address spaces and Unix system services processes or daemons. TOM can be utilized to simplify and automate your mainframe IPL process. The Continuous State Manager feature, or CSM, is also included with Auto Operator for ZOS. This feature also controls the availability and automated startup and shutdown of ZOS address spaces. The CSM feature has been functionally stabilized by BMC and will only be maintained for compatibility purposes as new versions of ZOS are released. No new functionality will be developed for CSM. While BMC has not released an end of support date for CSM, our recommendation is for you to eventually convert from CSM, or Continuous State Manager, to TOM. 
The auto operator for CICS solution, or CAO, tracks messages produced by CICS and CICS applications. Many of the messages produced by CICS are written to transient data queues. Not all of the DFH messages produced by CICS are written as WTO messages to the console. Several of these are written to the transient data queues. For example, when a transaction abends within CICS, the message which indicates that the transaction abended does not get sent to the system console by CICS. It is written to a transient data queue. So if you have a need to perform an automated action when a CICS transaction abends within CICS, Auto Operator for CICS will allow you to define and perform the action you need to take in this situation. Auto Operator for CICS can also be used for issuing CICS commands based on a particular condition or event, and CICS transactions may also be started through Auto Operator. The Operator Control Displays, or OCDs, that are available within Auto Operator for CICS will allow you to verify the status of your CICS regions, send broadcast messages to all CICS connected terminals, for example, to notify users that a region is being brought down. There are also several panels and displays within Auto Operator for CICS that allow users to automate their CICS DB control environment when CICS is being used to communicate with an IMS region through DB control. This includes actions such as starting and stopping IMS databases, etc. Auto Operator for IMS, or IAO, can be used to trap messages and commands that are issued within IMS. Messages that occur within IMS can be suppressed, modified, or an automated action can be taken as a result of the message. Auto Operator for IMS can also be used to perform IMS commands either through a terminal session, online panels, or through an AO rule or Rex exec. Auto Operator for IMS can also initiate IMS transactions and automatically control IMS resources such as starting and stopping databases, PSBs, etc. Both IMS Type 1 and Type 2 commands are supported within Auto Operator for IMS, and IMS Plex commands are also supported. The OCD displays within Auto Operator for IMS will allow you to review and verify the status of your IMS resources such as databases, transactions, etc., and will also allow you to create automation for these resources. The Auto Operator for MQ solution, or QAO, provides automation for the ZOS MQ series environment. Auto Operator for MQ can see and automate messages which are placed on the MQ event instrumentation local queue. For example, when MQ series detects that a particular message queue has become full, the resulting message from MQ is not written out to the ZOS console as a WTO message. Instead, the message which indicates the condition is written to an event instrumentation queue within MQ. Auto operator for MQ can see the message on the event instrumentation queue and respond to it in an automated fashion. Auto Operator for MQ also provides full access to the MQ environment via Rex execs. AO for MQ also has a full access to the MQ environment through the use of the MQ API or Application Programming Interface. Through the use of the MQ API, Auto Operator can be used to both put and get messages from the various queues. As mentioned earlier, the Auto Operator for ZOS solution includes the TOM or Total Object Manager feature. 
Tom provides the infrastructure to automatically manage the availability, startup and shutdown of ZOS started tasks and USS processes or daemons. Tom also allows interdependencies to exist between started tasks and USS processes. Tom also provides the capability to manage and automate the interdependencies of objects which exist on different LPARs. Tom operates in its own product address space or PaaS on each LPAR and is associated with a single MainView Auto Operator PaaS on each LPAR. The MainView Auto Operator product address space or PaaS acts as the server to the Tom address space on each LPAR. Tom uses objects, sets, and calendars to manage the availability of ZOS started tasks and USS daemons. Tom will be discussed in more detail in a separate MainView training video. MainView Auto Operator provides several different ways to interface with the Auto Operator product address space, which is also known as the BBISS address space or PaaS. Users can connect to Auto Operator via a TSO ISPF session by invoking or launching the MainView C list, which is distributed with the product. The MainView C list may be executed by selecting an option from your ISPF menu, which subsequently invokes the main view C list, or users may also directly invoke this C list. When accessing auto operator from a VTAM or EXCP session, the main view C list is automatically invoked and launched for you. Users may also interact with auto operator through ZOS console commands to perform tasks such as invoking an automation exec manually. The MainView Explorer GUI interface, which is included with Auto Operator, may also be used. All Windows mode capabilities of Auto Operator are available through the MainView Explorer GUI interface. This concludes the BMC MainView Auto Operator concepts, functions, components, training session. Thank you.